How did I make it all these years? How did I make it this far? Through the valley and over the hills. You know it has to be God. How did I make it through the storm? How did I make it through the rain? And if you want to know just how I got here, it's so easy to explain. It was God's grace. God's grace. 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 I made it this far. It was God's grace. God's grace. It was God's grace. God's grace. It was God's grace. God's grace. His 
His amazing grace. I made it this far. By the grace of God. Lord, I thank you from where you brought me. How you brought me through the night. Lord, you kept me and you never left me. Stood by my side. There were so many times when I came so close. Old man Death, he tried to take me in. And the reason I'm here is not hard for you to see. In fact, it's so easy for me to explain. It was God's grace. God's grace. 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 I made it this far. It this far. By the grace of God. I remember the times when I stayed away. Even though I knew the words, still I would not obey. But God's mercy and grace stayed with me and brought me, brought me all the way. It was God's grace. God's grace. 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 I made. Anybody want to know this how I got here? Anybody want to know why I'm still standing? But I made it this far by the grace of God. Some people say, they say I wouldn't make it. Some people say, I wouldn't be here. But I made it this far by the grace of God. Sometimes I look back over the years. I had to share, share so many tears. But I made it this far by the grace. by God's grace. Every time I think about where God brought me from, I think about his grace. Truly it's a blessing once again to come before you in the house of the Lord, thanking him for this another day's journey. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank God for loving peace. We thank God for all those who are going to watch this and this message today. We are praying that God will continue to lift you up, continue to be with you, and hold you in the hollow of his own. We're not going to try to hold you too long, but there is a word from the Lord in Genesis, the 30th chapter. Genesis chapter 30, beginning with verse number 40 through 43. And it reads, And Jacob did separate the lambs and set the faces of the flocks toward the Ring straight and all the brown of the flock of Laban, and he put his own flocks by themselves and put them not unto Laban's cattle. And it came to pass, whensoever the stronger cattle did conceive, that Jacob laid the rods before the eyes of the cattle in the gutters, that they might conceive among the rods. But when the cattle was feeble, he put them not in. So the feebler was the Laban's and the stronger Jacob's, and the man increased in, in, exceedingly and had much cattle, maid servants, men servants, camels, and asses. For a few minutes, we want to talk to you from this subject. What time is it? 
What time is it? All heads are bowed. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come with thanksgiving. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day's journey. We thank you for allowing us to stand one more time. We don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, but right now we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We pray now in the mighty name of Jesus that you hide all that men and women not see him, but see you instead. Allow me to decrease while you increase. Let your Holy Spirit move in this place, touching somebody, saying, I yield, I yield, yet to be saved. The blessing we ask in the name of Jesus, we do humbly pray. Now all say amen, amen, and amen. What time is it? My brothers and sisters, in the all-inclusive perfect plan of the all-wise God, I will save you. There is a season for everything and a time for every purpose. Everything has been given a limit span of time. Every purpose has its due date. There's an appointment of time for everything and limited opportunity for everything that comes under heaven. We must understand that the events of our lives are not accidental. We are not here uh, today by chance of mishap. They are placed in due order. Everything that happens in it, it has its own appointed season. This is the cycle of life where things happen again and again in our lives, but yet they show up at seasons that are appointed by God. My God. There, there, there is a time to be born, a time to die. There's a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Just as there's a time to weep, there's also a time uh, to laugh. There's a time to moan, and there's also a time to dance. There's a time to get, and there's likewise a time to loose those things which we already have. There's a time for everything and a season and everything to happen. Therefore, I submit to you this morning that just as God has appointed a time for the barrenness of our lives, he has an ordained season for blessings. Mm. I wish I had some help. That there are special seasons when God satisfies his servants with everything that makes life rich and full and hurts no one else. Uh, uh, the writer of the book of Proverbs said, The blessing of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow with it. And I think I ought to tell you that every good thing we enjoy in this material world that brings no sorrow to others, y'all ain't saying nothing, is part of the blessings of God. Yes, sir. Talk, Doc. Uh, this is why we shouldn't get upset when someone else is being blessed. Our blessing is on the way. If you don't move out of the realm of God, your blessing is on the way. And, and I don't know about you, but in the words of John P. Key, I'm going to get mine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there, 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 there was a special season when God bestows on us the happiness of the sense of pardon sin. For those of us who follow after God know we have truly been born again. We know that our past is not, will not rise up to condemn us. All because we had a sense of inner peace uh, with God. Even the treasures of heaven uh, uh, seem to be open to us. All because that God of ours has ordained season of blessing, of prosperity, and happiness for all of us. And, and I wonder if there's anybody here who know what time it is. Yes, sir. We wake up in the morning, uh, and our first instinct is to know what time it is. We, we, we consult clocks and watch at regular times throughout the day. Every so often we find ourselves saying, I, I, I don't have the time. In, 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 in our daily routine, we do all kinds of things to time. I wish I had some help. Talk, we use time. Yeah. We waste time. Yeah. We mark time. Yes, sir. We make time. Some folk even do time. I wish I had some Talk, help. Preacher. Uh, uh, we grab time. Yeah. And, and, and a final insult to time, we kill time. Mm. Yeah, I wish I had some Great help. Yet, yet, yet all of this, none of us seem to know what time it is. 
I believe that if we would ask Jacob this morning, he would tell us it's my time to be blessed. For I believe he, he has come to realize that in the perfect plan of God, there's a season, a blessing for the children of God. Oh, I wish I had some help. I, I believe Jacob recalled the words of his father, Isaac, before he left home for in Genesis 28, 3, 4. Isaac told Jacob, saying, and God Almighty blesses thee. Make thee fruitful and multiply thee, that thou mayest be a multitude of people, and give thee the blessing of Abraham to thee and to thy seed with thee. That thou mayest inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger. When God gave to Abraham, I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. And I believe, I believe this memorable encounter with the Lord in Bethel came back to remind Jacob, the Lord God of Abraham, and to remind him that God is in charge. This is why Jacob tells his uncle Laman, let me go. Mm. Sometimes you got to tell it, let me go. Let me go. You, you, you got folks around you, they got to let you go. You got a situation around you, you got to let it go. And after analyzing, Laman's prosperity was on the count of his present and his performance. Jacob were declaring to Laban, it's my time to be blessed. I know somebody listening to me today is wondering, how do I know when it's my time to be blessed? Some of us have been praying for a long time, and, and our time, waiting on our time to be blessed. Some folks expected God to move in a mighty way in their life, but it didn't happen. Well, if we Hush our hearts and quiet our suspicions. Perhaps the spirit of truth might tell us when the season, when it is our season of blessing. First of all, whenever the Lord takes you, makes you master of your circumstance, it's blessing time. Maybe y'all didn't hear me. I say whenever the Lord makes you the master of your circumstance, it's blessing time. You see, even the world know when the Lord is blessing you. Mm. I wish I had some help. That there comes a point in our life when, when they know that the Lord is with you. Even Lamer said when he said, I have learned. No, I, wish that. I learned. That. I learned by experience that the Lord had blessed thee for thy my, sake. My, my. He recognized that Jacob was blessed. He recognized who Jacob was. And I think I ought to tell you that whenever the roles are reversed, in that when the servant becomes the master and the master becomes the servant, it's blessing time. Amen. Whenever God allows you to specify what you want, hmm. it's blessing time. Talk, when, when, when God, uh, uh, when, 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 whenever God allows you to sit your own wages, it's blessing time. I wish I had some help. You need to understand that when you go to a job, they tell you what to do. They pay you what they want and they give you what they want to give. I wish I had some help. And, and all you do, when you sign that contract or say, okay, I'm going to work, that was it. So Y'all hear what I'm saying. But whenever you are asked to draw up your own contract. Doc. When you, when you, and, 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 you, and you sign on a dotted line and can't nobody change you. But whatever you ask, you draw up your own contract and you agree on the deal. Now you need to understand that when you're allowed to draw your own contract, it's blessing time. Some folk taste it in midlife. And, 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 and you also need to understand that the window of blessing would not remain open too long. I wish I had some help. I, 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 it, it would just stay open long enough for us to take advantage of the blessing that God has for us. You can't stand at the threshold of opportunity uh, with, with doubt in your mind, not knowing what to do. 
I, 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 will, I will only remain open a limited season and, and then it will close. No doubt some of us have already been presented with the opportunity of a blessing and have allowed the door to close the blessing of our life. But I thank God where he brought me. Because when I look back over my life, I see that I missed some opportunities. I wish I had some help. I missed some opportunities. I missed some chances that God was giving to me. He opened doors for me, but I didn't want to go in. And I don't care how much you try to get out of things by yourself. We must serve until the, our pride is broken and our feeling confidence that we can handle our own life is thrown aside. And it's when we come to the point in life where we recognize that God has called us to freedom. Oh, I wish I had some help. It is then that the process begins in which the roles are reversed. God first masters us before he allows us to master our circumstance. Mm. He has to break us down. Yeah. I wish I had some help. Yeah. Yeah. He, he has to lower us down. Yes, sir. You got to understand, some of us got the big head because we got two cars. Some of us got the big head because we got a big house that we can go upstairs. Some of us got the big head because we got a job paying six figures every year. Talk, Doc. But that's not what God wants. You still got to master your circumstance. And the only way you're going to master your circumstance, God has to master you. Mm. That's good, Doc. I think I ought to tell you, I've been around the block a few times, and I found out for myself that can't nobody fix things like Jesus. I wish I had some help. Uh, I found out that myself, he's the only one that's able to fix it. Yes, Peter wrote over there, 1 Peter 5 and 10, after you have suffered a while, yes, Lord have mercy, mm. the God of all grace yes, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, gotcha, and settle you. Yeah. Yeah, Doc. I wish I had some. That scripture. Doc. Huh? Isn't that All you got to do is let Jesus fix it for you. Yeah. Even though that God is able, the point of this message is to remind us there is a season when the Lord makes us master over our circumstance. There are seasons when he allows us to name the amount of our blessing. And you got to understand that is a fact that the amount of faith is important on how we are blessed. God can supply no more than he know what you are to receive. When we set the amount of our blessing by our expecting and obedient faith. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Perhaps you will understand the principle I stated this way. In the number, it is the number of vessels that we borrow that determines how much oil we shall receive. I wish I had some help. It is the number of ditches we did to determine the magnitude of our blessing. You and I, not God, will set the magnitude of our blessing. You see, Jacob was to set the amount of his blessing. The servant became the master. So it is, whenever you become the master of your circumstance, it's your time to be blessed. No matter what set of circumstance we receive, God will not waste an experience if we remain obedient to him. Mm. I'm almost finished. Then we'll take it home. Take your time, Doc. You preach you good. He will allow us to master and manage our circumstance. And I think I ought to tell you that a whole lot of time, God don't bless you like you want to be blessed. Lord have mercy. The Lord's ways are strange, but they are always effective. They are strange to the flesh, but understanding to faith. 
to the flesh, it means it seems ridiculous to have a man hold a stick over a wide sea. But the faith, it was a way of displaying God's awesome power when dealing with a problem. To the flesh, it seemed ridiculous to have unarmed folk to march around the walls of a city seven days, seven times, and on the seventh time they saw it shouting victory. But the faith, it was the mean by which God used to bring down the defense of a city. God's ways are strange, but they are always effective. If I could talk to the blind man, he would testify to the wisdom of God's plan. How Jesus took spittle on the ground, made clay, uh, y'all ain't saying that, anointed his eyes and told him to go wash. He came back with a vision better than 2020. If, if, if Moses could testify to the wisdom of God's plan, he, 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 would tell, he would tell you about the serpents came into camp and he, he, and he bit the people that was in the camp. He'll tell you about how they were dying and there was no cure. Tell you how the Lord told him to make a serpent of brass, put it on a pole and told him to raise the pole up. And when he raised it up, the people were healed. I wish they had some help. You need to understand that God's way are strange, but they also affect him. So go on and do whatever the Spirit of God told you to do. Go ahead on and put your sticks in the gutter of your problems. For somewhere, I read that the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God. Neither can he know them because of the spiritually discerned. Somewhere I read that we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God. Somewhere I read uh, that the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. Somewhere I read that God had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and the weak things of the world to confound the things that are mighty. Somewhere I read that it is not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. Somewhere I read that the power belongs to the Lord. Somewhere I read that there is such a depth in the riches of God's wisdom and knowledge that his judgment are unsearchable and his ways are past finding out. And I know that it's your time to be blessed. I can't explain it. The strategy of Jacob, taking stripped sticks and placing them in the gutter of the watering hole. All I know is that it worked. But if I had been there, knowing then what I know now, I would have told Jacob, that that is how our God works. He may take a little and make much out of it. I would have told Jacob that, that if you think that what God did for you is something, look at me. Look at what the Lord had done for me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh, he took... Mm, uh, my black soul dipped it in red blood and I came out white as snow. Y'all don't hear me. 
I would have told Jacob that, that our ways are not God's ways. And uh, our thoughts are not God's thoughts. No, I can't explain it and I can't attain it, but I can relate to Jacob because there are some experiences in my life that, that are unsolved mysteries. No, I can't explain it, but I know God is able. But anybody here this morning that know that we have the enabled God. We got a God that will come and see about him. I'm so glad that I serve a God that look beyond my thoughts and see all of my needs. I'm so glad that God is all I need. Every time I turn around, he keeps right on blessing me over and over again. Let me tell you before I leave you, it's time for your blessing. It's time for your blessing. It's time for your mind, your mother, to see about their children. It's time for God to move in your life. Somebody need the loan. Somebody need him right now. Somebody need to hold his hand. Let him lead you. It's time. Lord, it's time. It's time. Lord, it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. What time is it? It's time to give God my burdens. What time is it? It's time to turn over the turn over my sickness the, to Doctor G. What time is it? It's time to, to let God to make the way out of no way. The, it's time to, to stop crying in the midnight hour and allow God to come in and give you early morning joy. It's time. To, what time is it? To, it's time. To, it's time to, to let God have it. I know he's able. I know the Lord is able. I know he will come and see about you. I know the Lord will make everything all right. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't the Lord do it? Say yeah! Say yeah! Say yeah! I know he's all right. I know he's all right. I know he's all right. I know it's all right. I'm waiting patiently for my time. I'm not going to miss this time. I thank God that he is a God of second chance. He will, if you're faithful, if you're faithful, open a door for you. If you're faithful, He'll give it to him. It's time. It's time for your blessing. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Allow God to work in your life. He's able. He's able. I remember long time ago when I was working in Russell Mill and I ran in two machines for five dollars and eighty three cents an hour. Years later I went back to that same place and this time I looked at those machines and they had 
person running each machine and one on the end loading up the chemicals. And they were making over $10 an hour. But the Lord showed me something. He ended up making me a supervisor. Y'all hear what I'm saying? $5 and 83 wasn't my time. $10 wasn't my time. But fifteen eighty three was my time. And you got to understand that. Don't sell them. Don't sell them for mediocre stuff. The God I serve, he promised us. He told us, I shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. He got it. He got it. When your time come, grab hold to it. Grab hold to it. Don't settle in your comfort zone for what you're doing. When you know God is blessing you, you ought to have the attitude and the mind. I'm waiting on my time. God is going to move me, not left, not right, and definitely not back. But he's going to move me up. You got to remember that. God bless your heart. The door of the church is open to anybody. Listen to watching this message. And you're willing to accept God as your Lord, Christ as your Lord and Savior. Get in touch with me or one of the members of Loving Peace. They will direct you to me. And we will go from there. We thank God for you. Continue to pray for one another. Continue to pray for your church and every church that planted in the name of Christ. All hear us about Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, we come. With thanksgiving. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for allowing us to stand one more time. We don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, but we know you're an able God and you have all power in your hand. We pray now that you'll bless everyone that listened and heard this message, that you'll strengthen them on the journey. Let them know that their time is coming, that you have something for them if they just wait patiently for you. Everything will be all right. I pray you bless loving peace and the members one by one. Bless not only those members, but bless all the churches that are planted in your name. We pray, Heavenly Father, you bless those that are sick with this virus. Strengthen them on their beds of affliction. Master, we pray you bless not only them, but comfort those families who have lost a loved one. Bless this nation. Master, look down on us. Master, I believe we are ready for a change. We ask now that you just lift up the stuff that is around us. Move it and allow us to come and worship you and give you all the praise. The blessing we ask. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do only pray. And they all said amen. Amen and amen.